Storytime Panda, and today I'll be telling you about a book called Rainbow Magic. It's a wonderful series, and this book is about Abigail, the Breeze Fairy. The, the, she's from The Weather Fairies by Daisy Meadows. Okay, so let's start. Abigail the Breeze Fairy by Daisy Meadows, illustrated by George Ripper. Goblins green and goblins small, I cast this spell to make you tall as high as the palace. You shall grow, my icy magic makes it so. <laughs> then steel doodles magic feathers used by all fairies to make all weathers climate chaos i have planned on earth and here in fairyland <laughs> contents chapter one the adventure begins chapter two cake chaos chapter three goblin discovered chapter four up up and away. Chapter 5, Flying High. Chapter 6, last but not the least, Bright and Breezy. So let's start. Wow, look at this amazing map. Ooh, look, the fairy Fairyland Palace and the sweet factory. Here's the long river with so many fishes. The Weatherbury Village. The village, the village hall. Kirstie's house, Forest of Greenwood, the park, the high street, the farm, the farmyard, mud hole, and the mud hole. Fields. Wow, look at those big, gigantic fields. Oh, I think this is corn. Yum. Yeah. Do you like corn? I think so. Willow Hills. Look, the museum. Mrs. Fordham's cottage wow such a cute hot cottage and the evil jack frost's castle <laughs> let's see what jack frost does this time <laughs> okay now let's start the adventure begins I'm so glad I could come and stay with you, Rachel Walker said happily as she sat with her friend, Kirsty, in the garden. The sun shone brightly on the neat green lawn and pretty flowering bushes. Me too, agreed Kirsty Tate, smiling, and it's very exciting to see the fairies again. Kirsty and Rachel had met while, while on holiday with their parents and they had a fairy adventure. They had found all the rainbow fairies and helped them bring back color back to fairyland after Jack Frost had cast a nasty spell to banish them. Now Jack Frost was causing more trouble in fairyland. He had ordered his goblin servants to steal the seven magic feathers from Doodle, the fairy cockerel. Doodle was in charge of the weather in fairyland, but without his magic tail's feathers, he was powerless. Fairyland's weather would be topsy-turvy until Rachel and Rachel and Kirsty could help the weather fairies recover all of Doodle's stolen feathers. I hope we find another magic feather today, said Rachel. She and Kirsty had already helped Crystal, the snow fairy, return the snow feather to Doodle. The goblins were hiding around Kirsty's hometown of Weatherbury, and they had been up to mischief using the magic weather feathers to conjure up some very unusual unusual and troublesome weather in the country village. Kirsty looked anxious. We don't need to find the six other feathers, she said, or poor Doodle will be stuck on top of our barn forever. She glanced up at the roof of old wooden barn where Doodle was perched. Here in the human world, 
without his magic, the magnificent fairy cockerel was just a rusty metal weather vane. Then, just then, a bush near the garden gate began to rustle. Kirstie and Rachel could see its pink flowers jiggling. Kirstie caught her breath. Do you, th- do you think there's a goblin in that bush? She whispered. Yes, I can see him moving, R- gasped Rachel. She felt nervous at the thought of facing another goblin. They were much scarier than Jack since Jack Frost had cast a spell to make them bigger. OMG, what if you were Jack Frost, okay? What in the comment section, make sure to write, if you were Jack Frost, what would you do? Would you steal the, would you steal all of Doodle's feathers or would you give them back after stealing them? Or not steal them at all? Make sure to write that in the comment section. Come on, Kirsty said, setting off across the lawn. He might have one of Doodle's feathers. Rachel followed her. An angry yowl came from the middle of the bush. Rachel and Kirsty looked at each other in alarm. Suddenly, two cats shot out and chased each other into the barn. Oh, Kirsty exclaimed, and she, and she and Rachel sat, laughed with relief. Bye! Thanks for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment. See you later for part two. Hope you like it. We're going to be reading a few more pages, but make sure to wait for that. Bye!